Hey everyone and welcome to this video. I'm Minx Laura123 and today I'm very, very excited because I am going Lego shopping and I love Lego. So I am going to this local toy shop which has been around for so many years. It's actually one of the oldest independent toy shops in the United Kingdom. So that is pretty cool. It's a lovely shop. I've been going there so many years and it's just really lovely. The staff are friendly. They've got loads of cool things. But also upstairs is a whole Lego themed department. Yes, they are official Lego stockists and so they sell Lego and they've got loads of Lego and it's going to be fun. And I'm taking you, yes you, the viewer, with me. So come on, we're going shopping for Lego to Argosy Toys. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm just coming up to Argosy Toys. I'm very excited. Ah! <laughs> Lego sold here. Okay, so we are going up the stairs now to the Lego department. I am very happy and excited right now. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Okay, so I've already got a blue one. So I'm doing like lots of different scenes uh, with my Lego. So the blue one I'm going to be using for like the beach scene. But yeah. That one's cool, like a snowy white colour. Okay, oh wow. I love the, um, where is it, the bonsai. I don't want to knock anything over. There we go. This is lovely, the little bonsai tree. How cool is it you can make Lego bonsai trees? <laughs> this is amazing. Really, really cool. And the flowers and stuff. Really pretty. the Technic stuff as well. Oh look, there's the White House. How cool is that? <laughs> Made out of Lego. Avatar. Star Wars. So yeah, Nathan is loving um, Lego Star Wars stuff. So obviously I will be looking for some Lego Star Wars bits and pieces for him. So we come in the shop regularly anyway, so I think this is what he bought last time he was here. I remember the box, so, oh that's pretty cool, look at that. <laughs> so yeah, when we come back again, we will have another look. We've always got like really cool stuff in here, so we always find something to buy. <laughs> there you go, got some Marvel stuff. <laughs> it's cute. It's giving you a kind of quick little tour of what they've got. Ninjago. Obviously got the bigger sets up the top there as well, you can see. Super Mario! How cool is that? Mario Lego. <laughs> Love that. Oh wow, look at this. This is cool. I like that. <laughs> Got the Minecraft stuff. Sonic the Hedgehog. How cool is that? I used to play Sonic when I was younger. So yeah, I like the fact that there's lots of different sizes. You can have like the little smaller boxes, the medium, or obviously the the big boxes and stuff so it's pretty cool i got over here give the power of heroes oh how cute is this look hello <laughs> see i love the lego creator stuff look at this like a little city and it's a three in one so you can make different scenes with the same stuff which is pretty cool there's an award there I deserve that just for, I don't know, being me. <laughs> Australia. These are so adorable. Honestly, there's just so much to take in. It's just amazing. Disney stuff. Gotta love the Disney stuff. Super cute. 
Now, I really like this one. I saw this recently. I think she spins round. Yeah, she um, she spins round on it, which is super, super cute. Disney princesses. Oh, look. Love that. Really nice. That's cute. Oh look, there's a witch there. Where's the witch gone? <laughs> that would be perfect for like Halloween time. A Lego witch. I love that. <laughs> Over here, look what we got. We got Lego friends. I love Lego friends. Now, I know some people really don't like Lego friends, but I adore Lego friends. Like, the stuff is so super cute. Hold on. I have actually got some Lego friends stuff. Let's get this one out. Look at this. So this is uh, like a room, look, she's got a little gaming computers and stuff and a bed there. Really, really cool. I really like the Lego friends. Look at that. The diner. If you're a bit hungry, you can pop in the diner. <laughs> super, super cute. Oh, look, a little donut shop. Adorable. Oh, this is the one I really like, actually. The little, um, I think this is the bubble tea one. And now we've got the city stuff. See what I mean? There's so many different sections in this shop of Lego. So there's something for everybody. You've got to love Lego City. Uh, there's so much you can do in Lego City. I've got quite a lot of Lego City stuff now, which is cool. Um, this is really amazing. Look at this. If you're into your gaming and stuff, this is perfect. This is the one that always makes me laugh. This guy is <laughs> he's cooking a hot dog. He's burnt it. He's got this black sausage there. But it's okay, rescue is on the way. I don't know why that always really makes me laugh. I might have to get that at some point because it's just hilarious. Him and his, his burnt sausage. Got a problem? No problem? Just call the police, it's all good. <laughs> so these are little stunts one. I love these actually, the way they do all their little stunts and stuff is really, really cool. Um, ah, so this is the one that I'm buying. Oh yeah, which I will do. Um, a little haul. When I get home, I'll do a haul of stuff that I've got from here because I've already picked up some minifigures when I come in. Um, so I'll show you everything that I buy in Argosy today when I get home. We do a little shopping haul. Um, but yeah, this is actually the one I've got. So I'll show you more later. But how cute is this? Like a little kind of um, lifeguard station. You get a bit of the beach and some minifigures and stuff. So I'm doing a beach scene. Um, and also when I get home, I will kind of talk about, I do a little ramble session um, about talking about the different scenes that I'm making with my Lego, okay? So you'll know everything. So yeah, loads of Lego City stuff, which is cool. Got the big one. Ah, oh, look at the train. That train is amazing. It's huge. We've got a little Lego clown here. I think he's actually pretty much nearly as tall as I am, which is worrying. <laughs> he might even be taller. <laughs> Let me have a selfie with him. We'll find out. Uh, actually, I am taller, which is a shock because I'm not really taller than anyone. Here we go. Now, if that's not a, not a thumbnail. <laughs> Just standing here with him. He's actually helping me get over my uh, fear of clowns. <laughs> right, okay. Right, now also what they do here, which is really, really cool, apart from having the newer Lego stuff, they've got real kind of old school retro Lego, which is just brilliant. I love it. Um, so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold up. Here it is, look. So, yeah, these are like really old school boxes and they're not a bad price, like 30 quid for like old school stuff, like really cool. Oh, look at him. <laughs> so this is from Legoland. We've got little cars and stuff. Ah, I wonder if Nathan will want this. He's been asking me to look for anything with um, knights, pirates, that kind of thing. So I'll keep that separate in case he would want that. Because um, I think that's a knight, isn't it? Yeah, they're knights on a boat. We'll see. Um, but yeah, there's all our old sets here which you know obviously really difficult to get a hold of and if you can get hold of them a lot of them are super silly expensive but so yeah you've got your your older stuff which is cool and also figures that have already been made so you know if you just want the lego you don't want to have to sit and make it oh wow look at that going around 
I don't want to break anything. I've got to be really careful. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Ah, oh, Star Wars. Series 4. These are pretty cool. I like these. Right, okay. So, yeah, I think these are the Minecraft stuff, aren't they? I don't really know Minecraft, but this is the one I like, the little pirate ship. Definitely Minecraft, because they've got that little square head thing going on. But it's really cool. Like, I do like the like design and stuff. Little TNT box there. <laughs> so, yeah, what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to phone Nathan, um, because there's some bits and pieces he, I think he'll want, including this. So, oh, look at that. That's cool. That boat there. It's just so much. There's just so much to look at. Oh, and up here. What have we got up here? Oh, look, this is the Great Hall. How much is this? $69.99. Harry Potter. Really cool. Like that. There's Harry there. I see Harry. I see you, Harry. They were sitting there in the Great Hall. Really, really cool. I like the fact that it's all Harry Potter themed. I like Harry Potter stuff. Um, right, so also, I'm trying to think what else I can show you. We've got these mystery bags which me and Nathan both got um was it must have been last Sunday or Saturday anyway one of the days and we both got our mystery bags one each they're eight quid and you get lots of random pieces there's a load in here we got some really good stuff that we we're going to be using we have used in our set so um yeah really happy about that oh hello mate <laughs> just keep talking to them if they answer I would probably freak out um right and also 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 Let's come over here. This is the bit I'm really excited about. It's the build your own minifigure section. Um, look at this. You can literally find heads, accessories, the bodies. Oh, there's some little friends. Um, Lego friends there. But I, I, I prefer to make them from scratch. Obviously, with the Lego friends, they're really made. So these ones, you can actually get a head, get a body, get legs. Should we do one? Let's make one. Right, so, I want someone happy, not angry. Well, I've just found a body, which is pretty cool. Hold on. It's got like a little bit of cleavage showing there. Oh my. <laughs> I quite like that. But I'm what I'm looking for for my beach scene is actually um, like a red swimsuit kind of vibe or something. It's not going to be easy. You're going to have to have a good delve round. But we'll start with a head first. She looks happy. I want a girl. Oh, focus. There we go. She's a happy face. I'm going to pop the head up there. Oh, so now I need a body. I need a body. And I've got red just in case. Really, I'd rather like a swimsuit, but finding a swimsuit body is probably not going to be that easy. <laughs> um, but we could work with this. We could work with this. Hold on, I'm thinking, what about if she had like that? Would that look like a kind of swimsuit? Well, not really. I don't know. I'm not very good at this, am I? <laughs> oh, my. I do want the red, though. Anything on that one? That's more like a... I don't know what that is. Okay. Um, oh, I know what I need. Some hair. I don't give any hair. I wanted blonde. Because I wanted um, like a Pamela Anderson vibe for my my beach. So she'd be like, that Pammy, kind of Pammy. That's got like a ponytail on it. But I wonder if there's one with just, ah, this is better. Loose blonde hair. Yep. Sorry, ponytail. You're going back in. So yeah, it'd be more like that. So she's got the red. Oh, God. I just need some. Maybe she could be in like an old body swimsuit. <laughs> some red legs like I don't know like this hold on just getting ideas here my friends it's not it's either that or like um like tan legs so it looks like she's in a swimsuit but does it look like she's in a swimsuit or not it just looks like she's got do you know what I'm gonna go with just the red legs I think she's gonna have an all body kind of swimsuit vibe Right, I'm going to make her quickly and then show you. Oh, hold on. I think you're allowed an accessory as well, aren't you? I don't know what she's going to need. Uh, look, delve in here. What can we find? 
And if there's not an accessory for her, I can always look for an accessory for um, one of my other scenes and stuff. What's that? I don't know what that is, like a sack maybe? Oh, it's a little apple. That could be used in, um... oh no, it's red again, isn't it? Oh no, I can use that in my, um, my calf scene. Someone could be having a, no. No. <laughs> I'm very um, picky. What's this? I don't know what that is. Oh, hold on. Is that binoculars? This is perfect. She's out on the beach. Or maybe if it's not for her, it can be for one of the um, the lifeguards or something. It's an extra pair of um, binoculars. Yep, that'll do. Right, let's make her. And I'm going to phone Nathan to see if he wants any of these bits. So carry on watching. Okay, and I also wanted to show you the Lego pick-a-brick section. So how cool is this? Like all different bits and pieces, obviously all colour corresponded. And you can just have a good old delve in, get yourself some bits and pieces. Got some roads as well down there. Um, so let's look at the prices. So £6 for a small cup, £8 for a large cup, and 15 for the Lego brand cup. So, oh yeah, they've got the actual Lego cup. So you can fill with all different bits. Look, there's bits of like train track and all different colors. You've got the lilac. Look at the pink. Makes me very happy seeing lots of pink. This is really cool in here. All the different like kind of see-through color. This is lovely. Um, yellow, green, grays, different shades of gray. Um, red, so we see, oh, is that a little window down there? So yeah, really, really cool idea. I love this. So just delve in and get all the different pieces you want. Um, so I am going to go downstairs and play now. And then when I get home, I'll film the haul for you. Hey, everybody. So I'm at home now and I thought I'd do a quick little haul with all my Lego goodies. So first of all, I got this. I absolutely love this. This is the Lego City Lifeguard Station, number 60328. It costs $24.99, which I think is a really good price because you do get a lot in this kit. You've got your little ice cream cart here with a little seller who is really cute dressed up as the ice cream got someone chilling and lounging there on um, the beach we've got obviously the lifeguard up there looking out making sure nothing's happening but he's all ready if it does just a really amazing kit here and look at this tree loving the big tree and obviously yeah you get some mini figures with it as well so i think for that price really really good and also with this a road plate is included which is right i don't know if you can see it there right in the middle here which is really cool because there's a little car there so I can maybe put that there as well at points so yeah so basically me and Nathan have got this kind of plan that we're doing different themes different scenes with our Lego so Nathan is doing Knights, Star Wars and uh, Pirates so that's going to be cool like he's you know he's going to make that look really amazing for me I'm doing a beach theme I'm doing a city where there's like different shops and stuff and I'm also doing like a kind of in the woods with like a cabin in the woods and a camper van, things like that. So they are the scenes that I've got planned. Um, and obviously both of us are doing um, like a, a separate kind of shelf where we'll just put random minifigures that we collect. You know, we think, oh, you know, they don't really go in a particular scene, but they're really cute or they're rare and we like them. So they will be kind of separate as well. So that's kind of where we're at. Um I got this. This was used in second hand, but it's still in really good condition. I think I paid like three quid for this. I think or three fifty, something like that. And it's this road, and um, I'm gonna have like a few people kind of standing either side waiting to cross the road. I've already got a car, so I might get another little car at some point. Just so I can have a couple of cars going along the road. Around here will be the different shops. So shop wise. Um, I'm kind of in the middle of either getting or thinking about the different shops. So there's going to be a bookshop. There's going to be like a coffee kind of shop cart kind of thing where they can get their nice hot sweet coffees and teas and cakes and things. Um, had to have a bookshop in it, obviously, because I'm a bookworm. Um, also, there's going to be a little grocery store. And there might be another shop, I can't remember. But yeah, we're just basically going with that theme of having this road with some little shops around and different, you know, minifigures about. Um, oh, and there's another scene that I'm doing as well, which I nearly forgot about, uh, which is the park. So that's going to have 
Well, it's a kind of park, but within the park, there's also going to be like a kind of fair happening. So you're going to have like people just wandering in the park, like different minifigures. But you're also going to have, I've got like different amusements and things. So I'll show you quickly um, some of the things that I've got planned for that. But yeah, so we're going to have the beach theme. We're going to have the um, park. We're going to have the city with the shops and stuff and also the kind of in the woods with a cabin and the camper van and you know that kind of thing so that's where we're going okay so now i have a boat this is such a cute boat it's only 2.99 which i think is a really good price it's already made up which is good uh, lovely coloring with the yellow and the pink and the blue and yeah i think this is really great i'm not sure if this i think this is part of lego friends but i'm not 100 percent. but either way whatever it is it's just really cute and it's going to look perfect on like the beach theme you know someone will go in there on their boat and that'll be all good okie dokie so let me show you uh these minifigures which i picked up today um i'll show you nathan's first and then i'll show you mine so once again as i say nathan's scenes are pirates knights and star wars and obviously he's collecting um the random minifigures as well that he likes uh so first of all he's got the um what is she called the uh egyptian mummy queen or something like that loving the uh the eye makeup there the little flicks love that really pretty face actually loving the um outfit and everything it just looks great like, it's a really lovely looking model nathan's really into like egyptian stuff and history and all that so he's he's really happy with this one so this isn't going to go on an actual scene she's going to go on the actual as i say the collection of random minifigures then we have these two here who are going to go in the same scene with the knights and stuff. So we've got like this little elf queen kind of warrior lady. I don't know what to call her. Loving her dress and her little shield there. She's got really pretty long wavy hair and a little hair accessory there. So um, she's, she's that. And also we've got the bard uh, with his little guitar. Loving his hat. Actually, the whole colouring is, is lovely. Like the blue is beautiful and the, the purple. And he just looks really happy and cheeky. He's all ready to sing you a song. Maybe there's going to be a little romance between them. Or maybe not. I don't know. But yes, yeah, so <laughs> it's a for Nathan's scene. And that one is for his collection of minifigures. And now we get on to mine. So as I say, in the park, there's going to be like a fair. Um, so I needed some like minifigures that can kind of go with the fair theme and what's better than a strong man I mean come on he's got an amazing moustache he's carrying really heavy weights <laughs> and he looks very ooh la la sexy in his little leopard print leotard there very nice if I do say so myself but yeah really really cool this is just such a, a funny looking minifigure I love it it's, it just makes me smile so I've got that one he's going to be in my park fair kind of vibe um for the beach i have got as i say um you saw me make this one in the video this is kind of like my idea of a lego pamela anderson you know the blonde bombshell from baywatch in my mind um <laughs> so yeah i mean the long blonde hair the red bright red lipstick i love her cheeky little face as well she's beautiful so yeah um i will say i feel a bit of an idiot because i thought this was binoculars oh drop them but they're not binoculars, they are an oxygen pack or something. What is it, an oxygen? Oxygen tank. oxygen tank, there we go. So yeah, I feel a bit stupid about that. So I was like, oh look, I managed to get this. Anyway, there we have it. She's still happy with it, she'll have them. Um, so I've got her for the beach scene. Now, um, in the fair, in the park, there also will be some food uh, being sold and drink. So look who we have here, the hot dog seller. Look at him in his uh, in his little outfit. He looks great. The red and white check is gorgeous. Love that. And he's just he just looks a friendly kind of guy. He looks really happy to be selling his hot dogs. And where are his hot dogs? I hear you ask. Well, here's his tray, and he has this little hot dog here. I'm hoping it's vegetarian because I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> but yeah, how funny is that little hot dog there? And also he's got uh, the little milkshake as well. If that focuses, there we go. Of a little straw so yes he'll be carrying uh the little hot dog and the milkshake there to people in the park at the fair who are hungry and fancy in a hot dog and milkshake now nathan did laugh about this one because i thought he was just a dapper looking gentleman in his little smart outfit and his big you know top hat um and i was like oh look how smart my minifigure is and he was like that's that's not just a random minifigure that is actually the penguin I was like, is it? 
So anyway, I didn't know he was the penguin. I just thought he looked quite dapper and smart. And I liked his little face and his hat and everything. Um, so anyway, you'll probably laugh at me, but I didn't know that was the penguin. But there we go. Uh, this guy is going to be um, outside the bookshop. Or it was either going to be inside the bookshop or outside my bookshop that when I make it. So um, I think it's going to look great. He's, he's going to be buying some books. Right, I've shown you those, shown you those. I've got three more to show you. This one here. I love her bright pink hair. How amazing is this pink hair? So I'm trying to get it to focus. There we go. Uh, pink hair, ponytail, pink shirt, black tie. Loving that kind of black jacket, black trousers. She is awesome. Like, I don't know who she is. She might be a certain figure. If you know, let me know in the comments. But she just looks cool to me. That's why I get them. Um, and I've already got a few other mini figures that are kind of this kind of style. And I've got the bright coloured hair and stuff. So she's going to look fantastic. I've got an idea where these um, these kind of figures are all going to be like in a little group together in the park kind of thing. So it's that one. And then I'm going a bit 80s vibes here with these other two. So <laughs> she looks so happy. I love what she's on. Um, so we've got 80s people. We have these kind of... I don't know what to call him. I just call him Aid His Cool Dude. There probably is another name for him. But he's got his big mobile phone there, which looks like a brick. Do you remember when mobile phones were like huge? Mind you, they're all coming back again now, really big again anyway. Um, but yeah, so he's got his nice little white suit on, very Miami Vice. Lovely sunglasses. He's a cool dapper dude. And this is like 80s exercise woman. I don't know what else to call her. She looks very happy to be doing exercise. So that's good. Um, and she's got a little water there when she's on the on the run and she needs some drink. Loving the leopard, uh, not leopard print, zebra print uh, leggings. Very funky leotard there. And the big hair is just amazing. And the big happy smiley face. So these are my 80s themed minifigures i i love anything with the 80s so i was really excited when i saw these two i think i'm gonna put her in the park because she can be having like a run and i don't know about him i don't know where he's gonna go but i maybe together maybe they've just kind of i don't know come from the 80s and gonna go to the fair at the park so that's those two so they are all the goodies that i got today um also got uh my lego bag which um i can show you now hold on a second yeah so it's really cool getting the uh, lego bag i did feel quite happy walking along with that bag it's a true story so yeah and they're quite strong these bags as well so that's good um right so that is what i got from argosy um you know good price really friendly staff lovely to you know go in and, and chat with them and they're all really helpful and lovely and just so much like lego and really cool toys like downstairs in the shop there's obviously other toys so i might have had a little look around at the other toys as well but if you're looking for lego and stuff they're an official lego stockist and this as you can see in the video there's so much lego there all different types of lego for anyone and yeah it was just really fun i really enjoyed it i would love to work in a toy shop <laughs> i don't think i'd get any work done i'd just be playing with all the toys all day so that is that now quickly before i end this video um, I've lost a minifigure. I found them. Um, I just wanted to say a couple of things. So first of all, a massive thank you uh, because look what I have. This is the Lego ice cream cart. That's what I call it. Ice cream cart thing van. Ice cream van. Yeah. Um, and it's number 60253. And it's just, oh my God, it's amazing. Now, I just want to say a big thank you to one of my viewers who actually purchased this for me on my throne wish list. Um, I have a throne wish list. The link is down below. Please check it out. I've added some new things and I'll probably add some more things for me and Nathan like Lego wise. So if you want to treat me or him, we're going to add some stuff to the wish list. But yeah, someone actually very kindly bought me this as a gift and I'm really grateful because this is so cool I've already got like a slushy van so it's very similar to this but it says like slushy drinks but this one obviously as you can see is selling ice creams I like the little stickers that you get with like saying what ice creams and ice lollies you can get there's obviously people there waiting to you know get the ice cream so I'm thinking I'm going to put this on um, my park like fair park thing or the beach I'm not quite decided yet, because obviously we did get the ice cream um, cart. <coughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. Yeah, we did get the ice cream cart with the beach. So I might put the little ice cream cart in the park, because that's smaller, and then maybe put the ice cream van 
in the beach. So anyway, I don't know how it's going to go, but that's where it's exciting and fun because you get to plan out what you're doing. So yeah, just a big thank you to my viewer for purchasing, purchasing this for me on my throne wish list. Okie dokie. The other thing I want to show you is this, and um, it is the Lego Friends my little uh, pizza shop that's going to be going in the city oh that was the other thing i wanted in the city somewhere where they could eat yeah i got this the other day and it's just so cool i've just got to actually make it um and i've also got a blue plate for the um for the water and stuff but what i'm gonna do as i say i will do um a proper video a big haul I've got so many mini mini figures to show you, me and Nathan's mini figures, and I've got lots of other bits and pieces to show you. Um, I'll just get one out. So something like this is going to be used in the fair, and as you can see, a couple of mini figures there swinging in their boat. This is going to be so fun! Like to see everything once it's all on is going to be lovely. Um, but yeah, so you get things like that. I've got the um, I've got hooker duck. Anyway. But if you want to see more, as I say, I'll be doing like um, a kind of mega Lego haul video featuring minifigures and, you know, sets and things that I've, I've got and that Nathan has got. So look out for that. Um, please leave me comments down below. Please leave a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. And yeah, if you're into Lego, let me know what your favorite kind of, um, you know, sets and things like that. And yeah, any any Lego related comments would be wonderful. <laughs> All right, thank you for watching, and thank you to the very kind people Argosy Toy Shop uh, for letting me go in and film there, and just yeah, I really appreciate that. So thank you for watching. Lots of love to you all. Take care. Bye.